of this lab is measurement of capacitance by using a ballistic galvanometer. The objective of this experiment is to find the ballistic galvanometer constant and to find the capacitance of the capacitor. Then you're going to want to find the capacitance of series and parallel connections of two capacitors and then find the percent error. What you're going to need for this lab, it consists of this setup right here, which is a ballistic galvanometer and a stand. You're going to need a meter stick attached to a stand, a laser light source, um, two unknown capacitors, a capacitor or decade box, a switch, power supply, and a DC voltmeter. Wiring connections for this experiment is as follows. The power supply, the positive and negative ends, are going to be connected to one side of the switch. Then the middle portion of the switch is going to be connected to the capacitor decade box. And then the far side of the switch over here is going to be connected to the input of the shunt. Then the galvanometer right here is going to be connected to the portion of the shunt that reads galvanometer and also the voltmeter is connected to the power supply in parallel. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to switch, um, take the switch and put it to direction A. This means that the capacitor is charging. Then when you flip it to direction B, the capacitor discharges. While you're doing this, you're going to look at the position of the laser on the meter stick and record the deflection. Um, once you do that, you're going to repeat the same steps for a different capacitor because each capacitor will have a different change in deflection. Record your results in Table 1 and find the total charge by the equation Q equals the capacitance times the voltage. Um, once you do that, you're going to make a charge versus deflection graph and the slope of that graph is going to be the galvanometer constant. For the next part of this experiment, you're going to remove the capacitor decade box and instead attach the wires to two unknown capacitors that are in series. Once you do that, you're going to repeat the same thing that you did for the procedure of the previous experiment and record the deflection of the laser beam. After you do that, you're going to disconnect the wires again and you're going to place the unknown capacitors in parallel and then you're going to repeat the same thing. Your challenge is to determine the capacitance of these two unknown capacitors using the capacitor equations. Part of your grade will be determined on how accurately you find these values.